Welcome back, Con Clan. My name is Nicholas Khan, and today is Sator Saturday. Let's get into the game and let's start on our lovely Twi'lek smuggler, Kai Shana. So we have our regular cast member, Diet Soda with this, root beer. Wasn't sure if he was gonna make it today, but he did. So we're glad he's here. Everybody give him a round of applause. All right, so we have plans we want to go to, but before we do that, it is important that we do Hammer Station. Am I at the fleet? No, I'm at Coruscant. I need to go to the fleet. If I could figure out how to go around this ship. Oh, let's have a conversation. Now we can have the conversation with the droid. We missed it last time. Of course, they're just walking around. Yeah, I gotta lay down the law. Twi'leks don't need vegetables, but they need fruit. Everyone needs fruit. Oh, thanks. Thanks for insulting my ship a little bit. <laughs> Unless we didn't put those on there. Too long since I was aboard and almost forgotten all that stuff. My duty is to ensure you need never concern yourself with such matters, Master. Which brings up one final point. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical dangers. My oh, I look pretty sturdy to me. Well, that's good. I want this ship spick and span. Oh, so that's supposed to lead us to Risha if that we actually did this in order. I think the game might have glitched a little bit last time, because remember, we couldn't talk to the droid. But hi. Say la vie. Say la vie. So we're going to do Hammer Station today, because it's important for the purposes of story. We got to get it all in there. I think it's supposed to be designed like, you know, the Falcon, the Millennium Falcon. But to me, it just feels so reminiscent of the Ebon Hulk, like the way things are set up and the way you walk around the ship. And the Jedi ship isn't really like that, which you would think it would be, right? Because Jedi character, and obviously you play as Jedi characters during the KOTOR games, but no. It's, it's a cool ship design. It just takes a second to get used to, though. But at any rate, let's see what uh, message Satil Sean has for us. This is a public emergency response course to kill hollow frequency Polaris. A crisis on the outer rim requires immediate intervention. The adversary system hmm. have obtained a Republic battle station and are using it for acts of aggressive expansion, conquering entire star systems. What's this battle system? How did Advasec obtain our battle station? Did someone leave it unlocked with the keys inside? <laughs> During the last war, Republic scientists developed a mobile battle station codenamed Hammer. It bombarded hmm. planetary surfaces using asteroids as weapons. Yeah, I think that might merit the organization's attention. The project was cancelled and its prototype... Especially stuff on the outer rim. We don't know how the adversary Germany now possesses it. Hmm. The 
got friends figured out how to construct their own Hammer station? They lack the resources to build anything of that magnitude. They're near the Outer Rim. You don't know that, man. The assault would be suicide. Shields are useless against asteroid strikes. The station can target and destroy large vessels easily. But an assault shuttle could evade the asteroids and deliver a commando team to destroy Hammer Station from the inside. We just need volunteers. Hmm. Yeah, this feels like something we should destroy. Get the schematics, though, so the, uh, so the organization can study it, because you never know what threats are coming from beyond the Outer Rim. It's crazy. You'll need to be... Huh, what should we choose, chat? Blows up. Posthumous medals? Overloading Hammer Station's primary weapon will take time. The boarding party can flee before its detonation. That's good to know. Not really interested in dying. But we need to know how the hegemony obtained it. Any data you recover could prove useful. Hammer Station has just entered orbit above Selucano and demanded its surrender. Your assault shuttle is standing by. May the force be with you. Alright, let's do it. So according to my little thing, we want to do Hammer Station and then Kuat Drive Yard. So this may be a Flashpoint day today. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah, travel now while we boogieing down. Ooh. It's all eerie and quiet. And then suddenly, BAM! Everything happens at once. I need to make sure that my role is only damage because I am not a healer. We don't really have a tank, so I guess... We're just going for it. So what we're basically doing right now is cleaning up the Republic's mess. Which I feel like is what a lot of these flashpoints are. Just like Cap says, every time somebody tries to win a war before it starts, innocent people die. Every time. He might have said get hurt, but the point's the same. I actually have slicing, right? Oh, that means scavenging? And it's not very, very highly upgraded. Well, we're going to see how a boss fight is like this. It's going to be interesting. So there's just another faction that wants to take its place in the galaxy that aren't Republic, that aren't Jedi, and they want rule. Uh, I don't know if they've really deemed themselves a threat yet in the organization's eyes, but that's not really our goal, you know? We don't really care about that as much as we care about this station just being out there. Seems a bit too dangerous, especially during these times. Innocent worlds will suffer. One of those, one of those. I don't remember what that does. Yo. Can I heal myself? Can we stop that? No, we can't. Ooh, that gave me more energy. Not even paying attention to the dro drones. I probably should be, though. Oh, my. That's unfortunate. I'm gonna die. Oh, I rise about to finish, too. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. They just they just kept on going. Like it don't even exist. 
<laughs> they don't care about me. Ah, that's all right. It's just random people that I'll never see again who I'm like helping fight a war with, and people usually think that means we'll become friends because of the movies, but eh. <laughs> I'll never see these guys again. Or maybe I will. I don't know. I'm not focused on healing. I'm focused on DPS. And we don't have the right team for this job. Honestly. And there's no communication. No teamwork. No planning. Doesn't matter though. We'll win in the end. You have to believe that you will. Is he stunned or something? Alright, let's get some energy back. Let's get upper hand. You know what, let's use that to heal ourselves. Let's go. See if we might get some even better gear. Yeah, so what are we gonna do? What choice will we be given? Overloading, disabling the power conduits, and energy level might strike the advocates of forces while you enter the section. Overloading will make a much bigger impact. It also certainly kill many the advos working on the area. I mean, they're hostile, but I don't know. I'm here to save lives, not take them. You know, as much as possible. Well then, I've never really been. You know, this is an important learning lesson. I've never been the whole let's just accomplish something without any work type of guy anyway. Uh, nothing wrong if something is easy, right? If you can accomplish something easy just because you're good at something, cool, you have a skill. But like talking about with no effort or like somebody else did the work for you, I'm not the kind of guy who really enjoys that, right? Like I want to work for my victories. I want to earn them. I mean, that's how I feel about things. A victory unearned is not a victory at all. If it's an easy victory, that's fine. It was just easy for you for one reason or another. But you still have to earn it. Got upper hand. Mess up a Koto pack. All right, hopefully I'm not aggroed now. All right, let's get upper hand up again. All right, let's get some more energy. Have them pull out all the stops. Like I can self heal, but like I am in no way, shape, or form ready to be a healer because it's not what I do. So it's like. I'm not good at it, so trying to heal other people during these battles and stuff, like, hopefully I can just stay alive long enough to help us win. That's what I'm really going for here. That seems useful. I don't want that here, though. I want that here. Here. That's good if I can instantly enter stealth, because then I can do my back blast again, and that'll actually help me DPS-wise. That to slow it down. Wait, that's new. Preventing it from moving for four seconds. Wait, distraction. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, that's fine. There. This is also another attack, so I feel like I should just put that here. But this also slows them down, so it's kind of like a utility attack. I don't know. It's one of those things where you don't know exactly where to put it on your hotbar, and I'm in the midst of like trying to stop this battle station, so it's kind of hard to decide what to do in the moment. Whoa! He 
just super spit himself on up there. Beep beep. We're going to have to really look at these abilities and read them after this to figure out where we want everything to go. Hounds of the Republic. have it a little bit yeah or turning for four seconds that's good to know so this is a cone this is all right so oh man check out my stealth See, since that's a... Don't get caught on sweeping gunfire. I'm not paying attention as well as I should. Ah! I mean, I'm not saying what they said had no weight, but I'm definitely not a noob. Like, I am off my game today, admittedly. She's one of these. Get that. Let's also stop you from turning. If that status effect actually works on you, I don't know. Okay, so we actually can do this with just DPSs. Why was it so hard in the beginning? We almost died. There we go. What else we got? Greed, greed. Oof. Time to run. Uh, previous location was the exit location anyway. They're one and the same. Well, uh, everybody just 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 leave the group. Uh, okay. Hammer station is destroyed, Master Satil. The people of Salukami and the other conquered worlds send their gratitude. Uh, they are conquering worlds. To their home system. These conquered worlds will need help rebuilding. The new yeah. are already en route with food and medicine. Thanks to you, we know how Hammer Station survived destruction. Years ago, its autopilot was set to fly the station into a nearby star. According to the data you recovered, a mechanical failure cut the station's engine just short of its final destination. Hmm. Adversic salvagers discovered it several months ago. Oh. Uh. Word gets out. This was our fault. It will cause unrest in the outer rim systems. Pirates might secede from the Republic. Which is what I'm telling you. I come from a secret organization. But, you know, do what you want with it. I don't really care about the unrest in the Republic or anything. I just don't want this the knowledge of this weapon getting out. And then it's more work for the organization. But it is what it is. If there's not actually anything for me to look at or pick up for a mission. Oh, wait, what is this? Okay, I guess I can. This is the order the guide told me to do it in. I'm trying to do all the story in order, so hopefully this is okay. Huh. The Empire isn't exactly good for business. Tell me what I can do to help. That's true. I'm feeling I wouldn't have to work hard to persuade a smart entrepreneur. There's no official call to arms, but if you were to simply show up, I'm sure Fleet Admiral Azo would be relieved to see you. You don't think the Admiral will ask questions? Not by then he won't. He'll have his hands full. Just be sure to get the proper clearance codes for safe travel to the Kuwati fleet. 
This channel won't be secure much longer. I should go. Best of luck keeping Kuwak drive yards in Republic hands. Well, now we have to obtain the clearance code. All the way over here. We're gonna go a bit faster. I think you can. Well, I just did, Fuji. <laughs> so you have. Regardless, I can't say I care for your imprecise characterization about the odds. Never tell me the odds. Maybe if you let Kendra get us on a ship, we could all have less talking and more blasting. I've been itching to shoot down imps for weeks. To refer to focus not on the harm we might do to others and their great Star Trek machines, and the good we might do to the Republic. I feel that. Give me a break with all the hugs and feelings, Wokawa. Hugs and feelings are good. How do you see things, good stranger? Is our ultimate goal to destroy the enemy or should he secure galactic peace? Ah. Uh, there can't be peace for the galaxy with the Empire around. They'd never stand for it. I concur. Why do the first battle of <laughs> You know, if people in the organization can still have opinions about the Empire and the Republic, you know, they just don't care about ruling because somebody has to so they can actually keep the galaxy safe from the stuff that the Empire and the Republic can't handle. So that. All right, let's get on to the combo. Don't want to keep them waiting. Scramble all ships defending platforms 50 through 75. The imps won't stand a chance. There you are. Told of your arrival, Fleet Admiral Baywan Ago. You honor me. Ooh, he's a Cathar. Most fortunate your timing. But before we get into that, I take it you're aware of the importance of Kuat Drive Yards. Kuat provides the Republic with the bulk of its ships. I'm here to see that arrangement doesn't change. I knew you were connected, but to have learned of recent events and be here already, I don't impress <laughs> easy. But well done. As we speak, the imps are mounting an attack on Kuat's main defensive control station. I don't think any of us are force users. Related assets in Kuati space. Are you asking for help with the space station, or out there in a ship? I'll take your assistance, however you'd like to provide it. Bottom line, we can't let the Empire take that station, and we won't. I need to get. Never mind. We do have a force user. Half of the Republic first fleet. Thank you. May the force be with us. Tell the Mind Drum squad leader to stand by for revised objectives. Those imps won't know what hit them. It's getting crazy, y'all. 